Okay, we're taking a walk up the sidewalk. No mandates. No mandates. We shouldn't be coming through here, though. <laughs> Everybody followed, so. We're going to be having nurses and doctors stepping down because they refuse. The good ones and the right ones refuse to administrate a poison or something that's not studied enough to administrate. And, um,. Our hospitals and doctor's offices are going to be running low on people to take care of the sick because of mandates being forced on. They refuse to follow orders of pretty much premeditated bioweapon warfare, murder, treason, crimes against humanity. That's what it pretty much narrows down to. And if you want to be part of that, you can go to your tribunal. Or you can go to another country if you don't like this one. But we were born in our freedoms and liberties. Do not force against free will. We all have free choice and we all have free will. We do not consent and we do not consent. We do not comply. We stand together united. We remain united together, stronger, forever. Where we go one, we go all. Where we go one, we go all. Where we go one, we go all. Freedom. Keep your freedoms and liberties. My grandfather's fought for those. Fought for you. Where we go one, we go all. No mandates. No mandates. We keep our God dates. We keep our freedoms. We keep our liberties. They're not part. It's okay. We still pray. Well, I think you will. <laughs> Don't want it. Yeah. So. Here downtown Concord having a voice, keeping our choice, being the kids' voice, keeping their choice. Doesn't get any simpler than that. If you choose to get a, an injection, that is your choice. No one has the right to force choice or rip you away from your choice and force things onto you. We don't judge you. We don't expect to be judged. If the experiment is such a vaccine, then you shouldn't have to put a mask on after getting it, and you shouldn't need more than you actually need. You don't need that. Hydroxychloroquine, ivermectin, zinc, vitamin D, and vitamin C. Masks are causing MRSA and causing pneumonia. You're designed to breathe in good air, God's air, and exhale your toxins. It's very simple when you put logic into place in critical thinking. The body is designed to fight viruses. It's designed to build immune. It's designed to build its own antibodies. It's designed to grow and go as long as viruses that come into us. 
masks do not stop viruses. The packaging for these blue masks right here say right on them that they do not stop viruses. So why are we mandating masks when they don't even stop it? And they have nanotechnology in it. And the experiment has gain of function. mRNA. Whatever you, however you say it. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving advice. But I'm not going to see a doctor because they've lied to our face. Nurses too, and the ones that want to stand up for the right things, you gotta stand up. There's only two sides, the right in the light, or the wrong in the darkness. The wrong in the darkness gets you with military tribunals for crimes against humanity and treason. Bio-warfare is treason, and it's an attack against your own country, foreign and domestic. So, let's stand in the light, let's have transparency, let's bring us to truth, so the truth can set us all free. Here's the train, growing every day, growing every day. Hey guys, growing every day. Ooh. Follow the money, baby. You gotta Big, follow the money. Follow the money. Like money is science. Money, yes, like science, it's a yes. Backdoor subsidy for pharmaceutical companies using taxpayer money. Right, to poison us. Yeah. And to kill us slowly. Yeah. And to get our kids addicted and us addicted to the to the big pharma. Yes. Um pharmaceutical uh suck you right in the yeah. evil ways it's nothing but a cough and fatigue yes and unless you're a fat ass you can't exercise and eat mcdonald's every day oh well i heard something about mcdonald's i don't know if you have do you know what goes in there? do you know what's in their food i have meat. no idea but it's no, not healthy. it's human meat 80 percent of it what? Uh, Human it meat. Surprise me. From all the, do you know, 8,000 children come up missing every year just in the United States? I would, millions globally. I would sooner believe that they're used if you look in up, uh, sex trafficking rates. Uh, yes, they are. And if you look up, it, yes, yes, yes. And torturing them for adrenochrome. Adrenochrome is their elite drug. Okay. Hey, hey, why can't we sue? Why can't we sue? Why can't we sue? Peaceful, can't we sue? peaceful, peaceful. I am, I'm not gonna peaceful and patriotic. Peaceful and patriotic. They want to put something that we can't right. sue for. They have their choice, just like we have ours. Well, I'm going to just... rub their nose and we can't sue, so fuck them. No, we can listen. They we, want. They want to make you take something you have no. You, they have they're so, not making anybody well, do anything because well, they we're wanna, not. They can't make us fall under we, them. Yeah, and they, we can't sue, and these ignorant fucks want to force hey, it out. They can go to hell. But that's not peaceful and patriotic. Well, no, I mean, I, I, I define. We don't want. We don't want to be that. I we want to be peaceful. We want to be patriotic. No, but, we want to lift in prayer. We want God's. We want our Creator. If they, that, where we got our freedom. If they want, if they want to get in our face and. So, you, here's the if thing. We're going to be out here making a public display. We've got, turn we've the other, got to take the turn, high road and head Turn and the and other cheek. Yeah, they're using the force of government, though, up. so they can go to hell. Turn the other cheek. I'm not going to do anything physical. I'm going to let them know yes, that they're full of I shit. I know. They're full of shit. For, we, they, they have no liability. They want us. I know, but what we walk, want, how we, our hey, steps we fun. take, our voice we speak. After they kill enough of us, there's going to be some casualties on their side. Good. I mean, but let them have that choice. Anyways. So I'm just keeping everybody on here, so just in case anything pops off and we um, try to lead in a way of light, what's right, even the steps we take out here and the words we speak. Sometimes emotions take control and take precedence of our reactions. And I'm here to try to get people to pause a little bit, redirect, correct, and be peaceful. 
patriotic, lifting in prayer, because that is way louder than being aggressive towards someone or saying mean things. Mean what you say, but don't say mean things. We all have the choice, and this is what we're out here for, is for our choice. We don't put down people because they made their choice. That's the choice they made. It's not up to us to, to um, judge that. Just like we're asking for our government and people that have taken the choice to force it on us. How about we surrender to our creator, do what's right, stand in the light, I mean, we got children being harmed, we got children being... Come on, come on, let's be real. Sununu, Governor Sununu, my name is Derek Arnold. Okay, from what I'm hearing, you're not so much in the light. If you're not, let's sit down, let's, let's figure this out. Let's come up with a solution rather than your revolution. Because you not stepping up into the light and what's right is what's causing this. Every, every governor across the state nationwide, every mayor, every people that serve the people and took an oath. If you're not doing right and you're not standing in the light, get out. Step down, get out. Otherwise, the military can come in and do it because we're going to ask the military as one people, one we the people, for the military to fulfill their oath. Look at that, see? Truth. Transparency, bringing the truth. The truth will set you free. Amen. I'll say freedom, you say fighter. This is my chairman, let's say petition. Freedom! Fighter! Freedom! Fighter! Freedom! Fighter! Okay, so just so you know, tomorrow there is a freedom drive. They are meeting at the Everett Sports Arena at 530. And they are going to be doing a parade with flag. What's going on, brother? What's going on? How are you? Yeah, baby. Woo! 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 I, you here at six o'clock? I was here. Yeah. I was the guy in the truck that blew the horn the whole way. It was, awesome. yeah. I'm glad to see you standing here. Let me get you on camera. See, this is a this is a horn honker. Yesterday, he's a he's a freedom and liberty stander now. I got off the highway just to roll through because I heard you guys were here. Really nice. Said, well, thank you for your service. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have enough air to stop the truck after that. Right, hey, <laughs> hey, that's all good. We, we, the so you were on the big in the big truck. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 I so you're a truck driver. So let me ask you this: Are we planning a strike? Are we going to stop this so we can say no, no nothing? One's, no one's doing nothing. I, we have uh, we have 40 drivers. I bet you, third, more than 30 of them. Are uh oh. Yeah. And out of, out, of, out of 40 drivers, at least 30 of them are Trump guys. So it's more, which is, you know, that kind of, I thought there'd be more freedom people there. But. Well, people sometimes take Trump's messages wrong. Yeah. The one message they need to remember that Trump put out when he got out of the hospital from COVID, he never took the vaccine. Okay, the vaccine, it, he took the cocktail. The vaccine is actually the cocktail. It's zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C. It is ivermectin. It is hydroxychloroquine. And the experimental drug that everybody got bamboozled thinking it was a vaccine, it can't be a vaccine because it hasn't been studied enough. Legally, it can't be. So let's put logic, legality into things. They're forcing a bioweapon into putting people in, bioweapons in people. That's, that's an act of war. That is war, that's bioweapons and bio war fear against humanity, which crimes against humanity is treason and tribunal and execution and a fraudulent election that was rigged is treason and crimes against your government, uh, against your country, against your people, and they're gonna face a tribunal and death penalty as well. A treason, high treason. So, only if enough people. No, the military has to live by their oath. 
our constitution is our constitution. We the people are the bosses. That's why it's bold. We the people. We're not the boss of the army. We no. The military has to take took their oath to protect us from a tyranny government. Legally. Yeah. Legally. And people forget that. Read that constitution. Read into it. Look up the. Um, I just saw him taking that with what Millie. You did. have to. That's why I four five. Millie just. Millie just. Millie's, Millie's a. Millie's a rhino. All Millie's corrupt. Yeah, oh, well, he's in general. That's treason. That's treason. Yeah, but the guys ain't gonna do what they're gonna do what the general is telling. Yeah, not if he's a treasonous. He's gonna get put down. Oh, well, he's gonna get, that's he's gonna get put down and rest. If this square was full, so so let me ask you this: If you had a voice and you and, and your voice mattered and asked the military to come in and do their job and live, fulfill their oath, wouldn't you? Would you say, please, military, come fulfill your oath? Because I did. Would you? To get things right? To the military. There's two sides. There's a good side, no, there's a side of light, there's a side of dark. The wrong? No, I mean, I'd, I'd love to I'd want to see it. Right. I just don't have much faith in it. you got to have faith. <laughs> you got to have faith. Brady, your creator brought you here. Yeah. Have faith in that. Have faith that he gave you another day. <laughs> That's what my wife told me. She goes, you told God you wanted to be here in this faith time. Is, yes. Faith <laughs> is unseen. Okay? Fly high in faith. Fall deep in fear. But don't get dragged in the dogma of fear. Because that's all they're trying to do. M MSM, mainstream media, lamestream media, is corrupt. They're bamboozling it. Let I think I'm gonna head home. I'm heading home. I live in Derry. In the summer. In the winter, I live in Florida. All right, guys. So I'm gonna get off here. That was another good one, just in, up close and personal to what really, truly is going on. And um, God bless everybody. Fight for your freedoms and liberties, everybody. The more we get together as one. The louder we are, the prouder we are, and the quicker we get our country back to we the people. Okay? God bless everybody.